This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is mosaicism? Answer, mosaicism is the presence of genetically distinct cell lines in the same individual. Question, what is somatic mosaicism? Answer, somatic mosaicism refers to a situation where a mutation arises from mitotic errors after fertilization and propagates through multiple tissues or organs. Question, what is germline mosaicism? Answer, germline mosaicism refers to a situation where a mutation only occurs in egg or sperm cells. If parents and relatives do not have the disease, it is suspected to be germline mosaicism. Question, what is McCune-Albright syndrome? Answer, McCune-Albright syndrome is a disease caused by a GS protein activating mutation. It presents with symptoms such as unilateral cafe o late spots, ragged edges, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, and at least one endocrinopathy. Question, what is the difference between a mutation that occurs before fertilization and one that occurs after fertilization? Answer, if a mutation occurs before fertilization, it affects all cells and is lethal. However, if a mutation occurs after fertilization, it is referred to as mosaicism and the patient may survive. Question, what are some common symptoms of McCune-Albright syndrome? Answer, common symptoms of McCune-Albright syndrome include cafe o late spots on the skin, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, which causes bone to be replaced by collagen and fibroblasts, and at least one endocrinopathy, such as precocious puberty. Question, what is a cafe o late spot? Answer, a cafe o late spot is a type of pigmented skin lesion that is usually light brown or tan in color. They are typically found on the trunk or limbs of the body. Question, what is polyostotic fibrous dysplasia? Answer, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia is a rare genetic disorder that affects the bones. It causes the bones to be replaced replaced by fibrous tissue, leading to weakness and deformity. Question, what is an endocrinopathy? Answer, an endocrinopathy is a disease or disorder of the endocrine system. The endocrine system is the collection of glands that produce hormones that regulate the body's growth, metabolism, and sexual development. Question, is it possible for a person to have both somatic and germline mosaicism? Answer, yes, it is possible for a person to have both somatic and germline mosaicism, as the two types of mosaicism are not mutually exclusive. Question, is McCune-Albright syndrome exclusively caused by germline mosaicism? Answer, no, McCune-Albright syndrome can be caused by either somatic or germline mosaicism. The specific type of mosaicism that leads to McCune-Albright syndrome is determined by the specific genetic mutation. Question, how is McCune-Albright syndrome diagnosed? Answer, McCune-Albright syndrome is diagnosed through a combination of clinical examination imaging studies, and genetic testing. The characteristic symptoms of cafe o late spots, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, and endocrinopathies are usually enough to raise suspicion for the diagnosis. Genetic testing can then be used to confirm the diagnosis by identifying the specific genetic mutation that causes McCune-Albright syndrome. Question, what is the treatment for McCune-Albright syndrome? Answer, the treatment for McCune-Albright syndrome depends on the specific symptoms and complications that are present in each individual case. Surgery may be used to correct bone deformities caused by polyostotic fibrous dysplasia. Hormone therapy may be used to control endocrinopathies such as precocious puberty. However, there is no cure for McCune-Albright syndrome and the treatment is typically focused on managing symptoms. Question, can McCune-Albright syndrome be inherited? Answer, McCune-Albright syndrome is typically caused by a new genetic mutation that occurs in a single cell of the developing embryo. Therefore, it is not typically inherited from parents but rather occurs spontaneously. In rare cases, it can be inherited if caused by germline mosaicism. Question, is McCune-Albright syndrome a common disorder? Answer, McCune-Albright syndrome is a rare disorder with an estimated incidence of 1 in 1 million live births. Question, what is the survival rate of people with McCune-Albright syndrome? Answer, the survival rate of people with McCune-Albright syndrome is generally good, as the disorder is typically not life-threatening. However, the specific survival rate can vary depending on the severity of symptoms and complications that are present in each individual case. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like, 
and subscribe.